morning viewers, I'm Ruhma from Stay News, bringing you the latest news for today. Boris will force Gideon Manchester into a tier, tier, tier 3 lockdown after refusing to meet any Burhan demand for 65 million bailout as Minister K. Mayor, Mayor turned down Canary 60 million deal over price. Andy Burhan declared class war on Boris Johnson tonight for dooming Greater Manchester to lockdown. Publicly by refusing to hand over a bare minimum 65 million bailout. At the press conference, the mayor launched a furious strike at the government for imposing the hardest level of craft without proper support, saying he had asked for what the regular needed. Painting himself as the champion of the poor working class, Mr. Burhan said that it wasn't about what they wanted, it was about what they needed. What they have seen today is a deliberate act of leveling down. Despite having been an MP and cabinet minister for more than a decade before becoming Peter Manchester mayor in 2017, the Labour politician said the Westminster had been neglecting the North for years. Despite flaming Penny Pins minister, Mr. Rohan told people to observe the law at, at all times. The government's total package for Greater Manchester, including contact tracing support and the previous day to bail out, looks likely to approaching 1,000 million. Talk of entering to top break are also on, 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 ongoing with South your side, North Eastern side, and with your side. A tough announcement are not expected today. This valley and not a, its leader reacts with fury after initial suggestion, they were also on the list to be upgraded from there to with helpful independent completely leaders sweeping the ministry called off. Mr. Burhan has a taken aim at self selective figure hack like by Don Downing Street, the suggest Greater Manchester Hospital called be over overmed within weeks and less to for I think is taken. He insisted and intensive care be but occupancy was about normal for this time of year at 80%. And first question have been raised over the need for the drastic step. As official data show Nottingham, Newcastle, Sheffield, and Manchester are among the cities where cases have started to play the after a surge at the end of September. When 1,000 of students and staff were back into universities. Infection rates in all four cities have been easing for several days. That's all the news for today. Check this out at stadionnews.com for the latest update. I'm Rahma. Thank you for watching and have a great day.